The situation in Yarmouk is beyond inhumane. This is a society in which women are dying of, in childbirth for lack of medicine, in which children are dying of malnutrition. It is an affront to the civilized world that the world powers can allow human beings in the capital city of a UN member state in the 21st century to be living in these appalling situations. It was bad and it got worse with the arrival of these armed groups. There's now intense conflict. People are cowering in their battered homes, too terrified to move, which is why we say we need a pause and we need the evacuation evacuation of civilians. Islamic State, so-called Islamic State, have been in and around the camp for nearly a week. Why, why was the refugee camp a target for those militants? Well, it's a very strategic place. It's the southern gateway into Damascus. And if you control Yarmouk, then you control the southern access into the city. And it's also very close to the administrative heartland of the Syrian government. So it is a place of great strategic importance. And in terms of the UN's appeal to get aid in and get refugees out, are, are you, who is this to? Is this to President Assad of Syria? Is it to Islamic State fighters? What? It is to all the parties who are fighting on the ground. Now, it's not been widely reported, but two days ago, we were able to get 94 civilians out of the camp. 43 women, 20 children, the rest were men. Well, if it's possible to get 94 out, it's possible to get 194 out. And if it's possible to get 194 out, it's possible to get a lot more. We have appealed to the Security Council powers to assert political, economic, financial, diplomatic, religious, whatever kind of influence it takes to influence the parties on the ground, including the Islamic State. That has to be exercised because enough is enough. Enough women, enough children, the elderly, the sick, they are in immediate threat of being killed and they need to be rescued. And if that doesn't happen in what, the next 24, 48 hours? Well, if it doesn't happen, human life will simply be wasted. And that is an intolerable situation. We need the powers with influence, they know exactly who they are, to exercise that influence because people are being slaughtered, civilian life is being lost and it is needless. The madness needs to stop.